Yo, what is going on Comfy Gang? It's Comfy Neat here. So before I start the video, I want to quickly address the elephant in the room. And that is that in this past week, I basically managed to get an appointment with a quote unquote hairdresser, although that might be uh, too much of a compliment to this person because it was just some random person that uh, my mom found off of the internet and referred to me so i said sure why not my hair is getting pretty long and i wanted a haircut for a while and i went to this person and she basically gave me the black pill special without me even asking for it i asked for one thing and she just started fucking cutting and cutting and lo and behold before i could even respond or tell her to slow down uh to cut less of my hair off she just fucking cut so much of it off that you know when i looked in the mirror and just complete and utter disbelief i just realized you know it was fucking over and you know i was about to open my mouth and maybe try and complain to her but she just sort of gave me this look and then said you know what why bother complaining when it was over for you in the first place i'm just trying to let the ladies out there know that you're a norwooding ugly mong so you should probably just accept it and Reveal your baldness of the fucking world. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Haircut reveal in three, two, one. Holy shit, it's fucking over! Alright, sorry about that. That was my terrible attempt at stand-up comedy. But anyways, so I'm going to be talking about my failed music career. And when I say failed, I mean, you know, I put it in quotations just because I guess I haven't technically failed. There's no really threshold of, you know, definite threshold of failure out there. But the reason I say failed is more because I sort of failed the timeline that I made for myself in terms of, um, you know, succeeding as a musician. And basically, uh, long story short, around the time that I dropped out of college, um, that's when I first learned about um, music production and beat making. And I got really into it. And eventually, after maybe a few months of doing it, really wanted, no, not even a few months, maybe like one or two months of doing it, I wanted to basically make it my career. It's pretty much the only thing I wanted to do in life, or that's what I at least thought. Perhaps it was just a rationalization to, uh, you know, stop me from doing other productive things like studying and becoming a you know your average wage cuck or you know asian white collar worker but anyways i i basically gave myself a timeline of five years because i think it was pretty much the consensus online that you know you should probably you know give yourself five to seven years to hone your craft because you know things like art and for example photography music drawing even video game design, all that stuff really takes a lot of, um, you know, a lot of learning, a lot of uh, putting yourself out there, a lot of different skills that you have to improve at. And obviously, I didn't want to be one of those people who gave up way too early because for the longest time, I always felt that I had musical potential. Uh, and I'll get into that in a bit. But yeah, uh, I basically gave myself a basically a timeline of five years. And uh, what did I what did I accomplish during this, during this time? I basically spent most of it not making music, but rather doing things that were, you know, maybe sort of, sort of related to music, but not actually making the music, which is really where most of the improvement comes from in terms of art. Uh, a lot of people who are, I guess, into more creative stuff like me probably know know that, you know, the more time you, you spend creating things, the better you become at expressing yourself and, you know, the sort of barrier between what's inside your mind and what actually comes out of you when you try and create a piece of art slowly and slowly diminishes as you make more and more art. And... Unfortunately, I did not do this. Um, I think uh, part of it is because I'm a perfectionist and part of it is because I was just afraid of, you know, I was afraid of the fact 
that, you know, I might not be as talented as I thought I was. And, um, you know, all, all these sorts of insecurities that most artists have. So as a result of that, I spent, you know, maybe I basically spent weeks to months at a time procrastinating, doing things like, you know, collecting VSTs um, and, you know, audio samples, which are like basically like sound files that people use in their music. Like, for example, like a, a kick drum that goes like, Doo! or um, or a snare drum that goes, Tch! or like a, you know, piano sample. Uh, you basically, I guess, know what I mean. But yeah, I spent so much time collecting these things and I also spent time organizing the files and um, looking up tutorials online on YouTube, reading guides on different pages, on all sorts of different websites and uh, looking up, you know, how to collaborate, how to build your own music business and all this sort of crap that really is would be useful if I was actually good at making music or actually spent the time honing my craft. But instead, I squandered, I squandered that time um, researching useless shit. I think as in this entire five years that I gave myself, I probably made only 300 beats, which when you think about it is really not a lot given that I was at the time uh, aiming to become a, a hip hop slash R&B producer, which is probably, I'm not going to say it's easy to, to make because given that it's so simple, um, it really becomes important to, uh, it, you basically have to do everything really well and you're not allowed to make any mistakes. Otherwise, it really just comes across in your music vers versus other sorts of more complicated genres where you're sort of allowed to make more mistakes. It's just that it takes a lot more time to make the actual song. And well, yeah, I, I should have been able to make at least 300 a year and that's like the bare minimum, but instead I only made 300 over five years. The rest of that time was spent collecting useless crap. And also I, another reason I considered a failure is just because of the amount of money I invested into it. Um, although, um, you know, there are people who have spent more money than me as far as pursuing different sort of creative fields, but I have spent quite a lot to be honest. And it's something I'm not proud of. And, um, it's really the reason why one another reason why I won't ask my parents for anything else because I'm just so ashamed of the fact that you know I had I did ask them you know to maybe help me out I promised that I would turn it into a be able to make money off of it and um, you know investing in different pieces of software for example and shit the grand fuck this is kind of embarrassing but the grand total of how much money I wasted um, is probably roughly 10,000 10, Canadian and that's a fucking lot of money and um, imagine if I you know put that in stocks or in you know in in crypto you know while it was still going up or basically anything other than the ones and zeros that um, are basically music software. They're basically just code. They don't have any inherent value. If anything, they depreciate in value over time as new updates are released. And it's not even like I got myself a nice $3,000 vintage guitar that maintains its value, or it's not like I spent that money on like music lessons. If if there's one thing I wish I could have done differently at the start of it, of my quote unquote music career, it's that I wish I could have invested all that time. I mean, all that money that I spent on it into um, piano lessons, for example, because the keyboard is probably the most important instrument uh, that you can learn as a musician in general, because it's basically, I think the foundation of Western music pretty much. And um, it's just one of those skills that would have translated so well into music production because you can pretty much play any sort of instrument on the keyboard given the amount of software out there but because i didn't spend that money and time wisely um you know my music is as a consequence pretty shitty pretty subpar and um yeah there's really not much you can do it's as they say in music production 
Uh, you can polish a turd as much as you want, but a polished turd is just a polished turd. Um, and that's basically what my music is. T polished turds, except they're not even polished because I'm not even good at mixing. Um, unfortunately, as a, uh, as a mixer, which is basically someone who sort of edits the audio and makes sure everything is in balance, like even, for example, in bass heavy music, um, a lot of bass heavy music music is actually pretty balanced alongside this frequency spec the frequency spectrum it's just that uh the reason it sounds so bassy is because they basically um added you know they basically made the bass extend all the way into the upper frequencies and take up a lot of space in that spectrum but if you're if you were to look at it in a sort of graph of like the balance of like high to low frequencies it would be maybe like a tiny hump in the low end, but relatively flat and then sort of plateauing. I mean, um, you know, drifting off at the top. And um, yeah, that is the unfortunate state of my music. And the reason I believed I had some musical talent is because um, when I was small, I could actually sing pretty well. And um, my parents always, well, my mom specifically, I guess, because she was a musician, she always told me that I was talented and that um, I should be, I should, you know, make the most of my talent, make the most of the opportunities uh, that, you know, she never had, even though she actually had probably the same opportunities as me as far as that goes. But I mean, I'm still thankful that she tried to support me. But um, I think part of that was also, you know, maybe her sort of being, um, you know, maybe, you know, I guess, you know, mothers all will generally tend to think overestimate the abilities of their children. And I think that's basically what I happened. I will include a clip of me singing at the end of this video. To be honest, I don't think I'm that bad, but, you know, which is why it makes it even worse, because it's not like I was completely delusional. I probably have, you know, I probably have some talent, but am I competitive enough to, is it competitive enough? competitive enough in the i guess music industry which is filled with you know hundreds of thousands of talented people um i don't know i like to think that it is but given the outcome of things right now i'm really not too sure and um another thing is that i always uh i always did did well in band class and you know i've had people say the same thing to me at least you know at the start but overall i feel like I'm just one of those people that's capable of learning an instrument or a skill pretty quickly at the start, but then my uh, my ability quickly plateaus, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened in this case in terms of my music. But yeah, anyways, that is, in my opinion, or I not in my opinion, that's basically all I have to say about my quote-unquote failed music career. This is really something that uh, I would dream of doing to make a living off of, but I really don't think I'm talented enough. I think the extent of my music career, my music, my music abilities is to basically make a, you know, shit post meme songs online about being in need, or, you know, maybe songs that might, you know, bring people to rope and uh, just because of how depressing they are. I think I'm basically, that's my game plan for now is if I can actually get off my ass and stop procrastinating, I might just make a bunch of meme songs uh, and uh, hopefully at least that will be my legacy to the world because I pretty much have contributed nothing to society apart from my, my shitty YouTube channel. And uh, if I can at least, um, if I can at least provide that little bit of entertainment for the people who watch me, um, then yeah, hopefully that's at least something at least that's my that's my stamp on the world that that could be considered my stamp on the universe my whatever my i don't know what what else to call it anyways i'm rambling on for now um oh yeah and another thing is that i've been practicing a lot of guitar but i feel like that's plateauing as well i'll probably include that my guitar playing in another video where i maybe talk about my guitar journey and where that's at right now but you know, you guys have asked um, me to talk about my music, so this is probably one aspect of that. And also, I did read a lot of suggestions, and I think it, that uh, in my last video, so um, 
I think a lot of that really has been helpful for me as far as brainstorming stuff. So hopefully I will be able to, you know, come up with different videos, uh, maybe in a more regular, on a more regular basis, hopefully. And yeah, anyways, this is Comfy Neat signing out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the following cringy clip of me singing. Peace. Does my voice sound like shit? Does it sound like shit? If you're wondering why my voice sounds so raspy, it's probably because I've damaged it. Shouting like a retard Playing League of Legends When I was in my early twenties To be honest I think my voice sounds passable Borderline good even It would probably sound good with some auto tune and some reverb, which is why I'm singing in this bathroom. But I probably couldn't make it in the music industry because I am creatively bankrupt. And my talent is probably limited And my voice isn't good enough to compete In this very competitive industry Because I can't write lyrics for shit So I'll probably just make a bunch of Shape songs about being lonely as shit and a useless waster and a fucking DJ mom. Fuck. Mom. It is fucking over. is getting tired so it's getting progressively shittier and also because facial aesthetics matter in the music industry I'll probably never make it so I'll probably fall, fall. Uh